Hi folks, a quick unboxing video of a 4 inch table saw. I picked this up from uh, Harbor Freight for uh, about $37 and the primary purpose of this uh, will be to cut PCBs and any other small cuts that I, I would need to do. Now mind you this doesn't have a lot of power so you can't really try to cut wood and other things. Well you can do soft woods but um, not nothing like any hard woods or uh, you can't probably definitely can't cut a inch of wood and stuff. Now let's see what this says. It has got a four inch blade and I believe it has a wood wood blade and a diamond saw blade as well. Now mostly for the FR4 PCBs we will be using the diamond saw blades and not the tooth tooth blades and that's about it. Oh there, there it is. Uh, includes a 4 inch diamond saw blade it runs off 120 volts 0.9 amps and oh here it goes the no load speed is 14,000 RPM which is pretty quick and the maximum cutting depth at 90 there you go it's just 3 fourth of an inch right so that means you really cannot cut an inch thick wood, or wood through this yes there you go so the, what this is good for when if you're using this for woodworking I would probably say good for making uh, small models cutting balsa wood or any other soft wood a really thin um, wood uh, of that sort it might do laminates as well but I'm not sure how powerful it is for cutting laminates and other stuff all right enough of talking let's open this stuff up all right and the first thing so just just a, uh, as a matter of fact, the, the first thing that I do when I open any package is just take a picture of it. So just in case I have to pack it back up, I don't have to figure out how that is done. Well, we have a decent manual. Then we have the diamond blade. And then we have all these bits and pieces. I believe that's the guide. Hmm. I wonder how would that work. And that I think is for all these productive pieces to go on. Let's put that on the side. And here it is. heavy I mean yep definitely much heavy and if I had to I swear this is about 15 pounds or so so not bad not bad at all all right um, the whole base and the tabletop is uh, it seems like cast iron and that that's what makes it really heavy let's see what else Adjustment. So I think we have a tilt adjustment here. It's probably oh, too tight. All right, I can't, can't move it. We got the blade, nice thick cable, and this is about 0.9 amps. You got a switch, and that is it, folks. That is all. And this is not meant for uh, wet cutting. Let's see how this guide goes in. That's the guide. Oh, that's a tiny guide. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Works a treat though. Alright, let me uh, assemble this quick and then we'll see if we can. The, the first thing that I probably want to do is to see how do I change the blade. I have got 
one nut here and I believe that takes the whole table off. Hmm, if that is the case. I can't get this damn thing loose. Yes, as I expected, you loosen this, the whole table comes off. And then you have a nut. Interesting. Do, do they? Hmm. All right, so we have an inch, probably about a nut of an inch, but nothing to open it. Let's see how do we do that. Another spanner, but I'm really surprised that they, that they didn't provide anything to open that off. Huh. That is strange. Let's look at the. No. Wow. So, folks, to change the blade, you need tools. Yes. Not provided in the box. Got it working. Oh, that was tight. Oops, that was tight. Okay, that's a forty teeth plate. Replace that with this diamond tip plate. these nuts are aluminium so I'm not sure how long they're gonna hold on and the shaft is definitely iron so yeah that's interesting I'm just gonna see how long that's gonna last the blade cover actually mounts onto the right hand side of the actual plate that they have at the back. This is interesting. Metal screws into acrylic. Awesome. And here we go. 
Okay, that was louder than I expected. Maybe the whole table is resonating and that's why it's making a lot of noise. Let me try to dampen it a bit. Let's see how that works. And to this um, MDF that I've put in, it actually slides as well, so uh, not really. much better. Now, let's try cutting a few PCBs, but first uh, eye protection. Alright, so I have some spare PCBs. Um, so let's try cutting these. Here we go. The first cut using a Scrap, scrap PCB. Here we turn it on. Down. Let's hope. Okay, clearly this FR four FR four board is a bit too off on the on the blade well it cannot make good cuts I'm sorry it cannot it just just can't handle it I mean let's try again and that's just pathetic Alright folks, so you decide for yourself. No, it can't cut through a PCB, a 116th inch PCB. It's just underpowered. Nope, it can't do it. Just not enough power. I mean, seriously. So that's it folks. I'm most likely going to return this. And because yeah, it sort of messes up the edge on the PCB as well. Well, I, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm able to get cuts. I'm not sure how straight I'll be able to actually cut these. 
with the blade or with the motor so underpowered. Uh, it's a fail. All right, folks. So this is going right back where it came from, back to the store. Don't spend your time on this. Not worth it. Absolutely not worth it. It's severely underpowered even to cut uh, to cut PCBs. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the diamond blade that is uh, not sharp enough, but nope. It's underpowered. Sorry. Bye. Thanks for joining me folks. Until next time. Have a good day.